Alright, um, I took the original headlights out of the truck, well, because I got to get them ready for my retrofit project. Um, I'm going to take a quote-unquote sick day next week and drop them off at a TRS, or the retrofit source, since they're right down the street from me, and... It'll be pretty cool to just be able to pick up my stuff. I had to do some prep, of course. Um, looky, looky, looky. Um, I know it looks crappy, but it's plastic JB Weld. Yeah, it broke. It was already broken. Water was uh, kind of condensating in it a little bit. But I put some plastic JB Weld on it. I'm letting it sit. It'll it'll cure on time anyways um i don't care probably uh, probably paint it black or whatever but as long as it holds which it it will then i'm fine with that okay and the high beams i think i got it right and it looks like it's gonna fit well it's gonna fit because it's gonna make it fit um i got the profile or whatever you want to call it. I got. That's how to do this with one hand. Alright. Voila. I got the profile Highlands LED. These are for some DRLs in the high beams. Uh, honestly, I honestly like these. I like the look of it. And I got it purely for aesthetics and the extra high beam, and it looks like, yeah, if it's, uh, I might even, I did not get any shrouds with this. I actually got this from Lightworks. He got a eBay account. Um, he had a nice little, uh, sale, and I ended up scoring these for 65 bucks shipped, the pair. So, shout out to, shout out to Caesar Lightworks. Um, he actually did my my retrofit for my Solar and my Land Cruiser. So, I'm just going, so I, I will always buy my products through him. Um, I got the NHK, oh, I should have opened this. I got the NHK G5 EXL, and those are 3.2 inch in diameter projectors, which is pretty big. And I like them because of the intense hot spot. And they seem to be good for distance. And I'm trying to open the box, struggles. <laughs> and I actually love distance lighting. I, I, I love it. So, you know, you get to see as far as you want. And then the high beams will compensate for fill in so I can see high high in the sky whatnot and i have not really decided well i have semi decided let me get the projectors this is actually a pretty pretty nice presentation um yeah i, I like that pretty nice first time opening it okay oh ooh, this joke got some heft to it okay all right okay yeah i see that little blue tint Little, it's a little bluish, which is cool. I, I like it. I really like it. Mm. Questionable, but it better not corrode. <laughs> it better not. But uh, yeah. Overall, I like I like the project. It's pretty nice. The blue isn't as tense as I thought, but I do like it. So it's pretty cool and it's huge. I I, I like the I like the size. It'll yeah, it'll fill it up really nice because I do not like too much space around it. So by the time the shroud gets around it, it'll be pretty good. Um, I wanted to do some either demon eye stuff or was an LED around the shroud, but uh, I kind of decided not to do it just because I'm going to have a DRL right there and then this one is already DRL um I think I'm going to keep 
I think I'm gonna keep this the stock orange just to kind of contrast and then I like that I like the actually I'm somewhat of a fan of the orange the amber look on a SUV or a big truck so I think I'm gonna keep that or as worse come to worse I put like an orange LED an all orange LED because I want to convert all my all my turn signals to LEDs to get the dial dynamics uh turn signal uh was a turn signal relay to kind of get the strobing effect going on so i might uh i'll probably end up doing that and the last thing to unbox or unpack are these well i'm gonna unbox one this thing is freaking huge <laughs> all right okay here we go got this in the baggie all right i'm holding the phone sorry and yes, I'm I'm recording with a phone. I'm recording with my P20 Pro. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Okay. All right. This is uh. Ooh. It came with the package. Um. It's. I think it's the Apollo 2.0. Shroud, yeah, I think so because the Apollo got the little uh slits on the side, so yeah, yeah, I like it. And then, oh, yeah, it's gonna fill that thing up, that's what I'm talking about. I think I did right on this one, okay. I really, really like it, I really like it. Um, the retrofit, I'm gonna drop it, like I said, I'm gonna drop it off next week, drop all this off next week. I'm gonna give them a call first and see. And then in its place, I got some. I bought a pair of OEM headlights on eBay for 90 bucks. I don't think I should have did that. But uh, I always want to keep my functionality, and I uh, see a lot of the aftermarket headlights do not have the. Uh, they do not have the function for headlight washers. Lately, I have been using it because we have had some quite chilly weather. Um, I don't know. For Georgia, Georgia is kind of weird to have chilly weather, but hey, it is what it is. So, put this back up. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had quite chilly weather, so it, it is uh, it's quite interesting. But yeah, all in all, I like. I think I'm. Yeah, all in all, I like. I like this setup. I think this setup would be good. And I'm still thinking about doing a halo behind the behind this shroud, but I'm I'm, I'm still on the fence about it. Because I think it'll be a little too much. Because the one thing I do have to do is, first of all, this housing is gonna be blacked out. I'm gonna black out the uh, black out these. I'll get them to black out this whole thing. Um, I'm gonna keep the, tr the shrouds chrome, and this I'm not sure. I might get them. I might get them to paint the front part black. The, the silver trim black but i actually like the trim the way it is to be honest so i might leave that alone but i would like the background in this to be black to kind of like make it pop so i think that's what i might do and that'll be painted black anyways along that i don't need any i don't need any reflectors anyways um and then of course amber i want to actually tint it out because i actually want to make sure it's still be able to show a little amber and stupidly i forgot to <laughs> stupidly i forgot to get leds to go over here so i'm gonna go on vlez and get some leds to go in here and that's about it um pretty much i think that'll be a perfect match for my fogs and hopefully it's simple clean classy and not ricey so that that's my goal so hopefully it turned out to be pretty cool after that the after that then the next thing i had to contemplate on is the camry 
I got wheels and tires that I already want for that. I'm going to wait till next year to order them, of course. Hopefully, to catch a sale. <laughs> and then, um, and then hopefully, hopefully with the Camry, I'm also going to, I think I'm going to get some aftermarket headlights that are black because they're projector anyways. I'm just going to swap the projector and do something, probably do something light with that. Like, I'd... I'm not a fan of bi xenons, so I mean, was it quad xenons? Whatever. I'm, I, I seen, I seen that. I, yeah, uh, I don't want all them. I don't want four ballasts under my uh, under my engine compartment, to be honest. So those are gonna be left alone. So, so pretty much that is it. Um. I will probably update. I'll probably get an update or something whenever I get it all together. I'll, I'll post another video. I did not tag my other video yet. So I guess people who are actually somewhat following me are like, go ahead and watch the other video to see like the somewhat, somewhat of light or whatever other, the other video. I will probably do like a light output test of those things. I do say with the, uh, I do say the light output of those are strategically, they're somewhat dim to me, but at the same time, they're very focused. So they shine where they're supposed to shine. So it ain't blinding, it ain't glaring like my, my bulbs that I had in the stock housing, but they're more focused. So I like those, but all right, I'm out. It's getting too long and my leg is starting to get numb. So I will try to post whatever video I can later on. Probably the next, probably the next few weeks, probably.